Greetings, founders. Well, it's been quite a campaign. So successful, thanks to you. My name is Christopher Gabrielson. I'm the lead designer for Serpent's Tongue. This is my wife, Sadie, one of our lead writers and the mastermind behind the Out of Eden campaign concept. Thank you. Yeah. Um, it's been so successful in a lot of ways. I mean, the most obvious one is the amount of funding reach, which is great and satisfying because it allows us to make a little bit better of a game than we originally planned, which I'll talk about in a moment. But more importantly, I think the real coup is you, the Ordo Principium, and the just fantastic and interested and dynamic community that's grown up around the project. I was never actually completely sure if the Kickstarter community and the gaming community would get what we're trying to do here, and more importantly, why we're doing it. But apparently you have, and that's what's truly gratifying, uh, to see that our founders have seen our vision of creating a truly immersive gaming experience that strives to be a work of art and came on board with a tremendous level of support. It's been a lot of fun, it's been a blast, and you're the ones that have made it so. Uh, if you're watching this video during the post-campaign period or you're not a backer yet, I'll catch you up to speed very, very quickly. Serpent's Tongue began with a question that we asked ourselves almost two years ago, which was what were the most memorable gaming experiences of our entire lives, the absolute best ones that stood out. And we very quickly and unanimously came to the exact same realization. Realizations, one, that the games that were the most impactful and inspiring were the ones that could blur the lines between the game world and the real world, even if just for a fleeting moment. And two, that when this happens, the memories are stored almost as if they're real memories. So as we looked back on these ultra game moments, they stood out right alongside the pivotal moments of our real life. And that's why we're creating Serpent's Time, to inject powerful, memorable, and mystical experiences into our lives and into our gamers' lives. That's the priority, that's the goal. And we're gonna do anything, it, we're gonna do whatever it takes in order to achieve that. So now comes the hard news. Are you ready? Um, in order to uh, do this to the best of our abilities, we have started just, just started looking at a possible delivery date extension. Uh, we were on track to produce and ship a $20,000 game sometime around the end of July, maybe beginning of August. But we're not making a $20,000 game anymore. We're making a $150,000 game, thanks to you. So um, this is an opportunity to produce something that is even closer aligned with our vision statement, which you can see online on our website under the About Us tab, and it's pretty interesting and it shows our focus. We have a lot of game improvements that we can now capitalize and invest in. And some of these are identifiable and quantifiable, but some of them are not, because a lot of it's gonna come from our new team members. We have a really high caliber group of professionals that have come in, volunteered their services in order to really make this game become what it can. Like our most recent addition, Howard Fulmer, the professor at UVU's School of the Arts, is coming in to revise and direct our whole graphics team. And the list goes on and on. So I think because we're including these really high caliber industry professionals, the game is going to improve in ways we haven't even identified with, uh, identified yet. This is about making a revolutionary, genre-breaking, category-defying work of art. And we're pretty sure that we may want a little more time to do it so we can fully capitalize on all these new and unexpected resources. Exactly how much more time we're still discussing. We're spreadsheeting and timelining it out right you know, as we speak. But no more than 90 days. It's not going to be anything crazy, but we wanted to tell you this today, on the last day at least, so that you still have the choice to stick with us or not. But I promise you, if you stick with us, it will be worth it. We are situated to make one hell of a game here. And um, we want to be able to give it the extra time that it may need. But the choice is yours. And regardless, we really appreciate you having come on board. So once again, thank you, Kickstarter. Thank you, Founders, Ordo Principium. I love your support. I love your involvement. We'll be working with you over the coming weeks to include your names and backstories. And we're really excited to get your feedback on the playtesting kits that you earned with the 60K stretch reward. So farewell for now, and we'll be talking soon.